What's going on? My name is Jay and in this video I want to show you how you can add some animation to your website using this library called Anime. Um, here I am in their landing page and you can see very cool animations. I don't even know what this is but um, I'm gonna scroll down and you can see like very very cool things that you can do. So you can get very creative. Um, take a look at this one. Um, animating a lot of elements, SVG files, and here you can see on scroll we have some animations. Um, you can it can be very complicated or very simple. So right here I want you to scroll up, and all you have to do is click the download button, and then after that you can click documentation, and you will see a lot of details information on how you can get started and you know, add some code to your page and quickly add some animations there. So let me just close this window. And here I have a simple HTML with, um, we have the YouTube logo, we have some text and um, a button. So what I wanna do here is I wanna animate this SVG um, icon or logo and then animate this button using the anime library. So let's see how we do. So here, here I have my HTML. I'm gonna go, and after my body, I'm gonna add um, my own JavaScript file. So let's do script source equals to, and I'm gonna do script, this is mine. And then after that, you can see here that I already have anime.min.js. So I have that, and let's go ahead and add it, anime. Dot min dot js. All right. I'm going to save that. All right. And now I'm going to go to my script file. Um, right now it's totally empty. There's nothing. But now that we have the actually, we need to add this um, the anime first. If not, this is not going to work. Sorry about that. Make sure you add the anime um, library first and then your JavaScript file. Because if not, it's not going to work. Okay. So let's go to the script file and now we can just start coding. So the first thing I wanna do is add some animation to this download button. So let's see what we can do here. I'm gonna create a variable first. Let's call it button. You can call it whatever you want. Um, equal to document. Whoops. Query selector. It's right here. And let's go back and I think I added a class. Yeah, so it's a class of button. So I'm just gonna put there button. All right, and now that we have that button variable, we can add some animation. So let's go and start by creating some functions like I want to animate on hover and I want to animate on not on hover. So that's, that's what I want, right? It's like a hovering animation. So let's go ahead and create a function to do that first. So let's do, I don't know, um, const um, uh, mouse hover animation. You can call this whatever, this is just a function. I'm gonna do it a fat arrow function, which I like a lot. You can do a regular function, like whatever you want. Um, and here is when you start the magic. So let's do anime. Oops, that's not what I want, just anime. And here, we're gonna add some options. So this is our hover. So when I hover, what's gonna happen to this button? So first we need to add the targets. And what is it? The button variable, okay? Which we have already, all right. We're gonna add a comma, and I wanna change the width of this button. So I'm gonna add width, and I'm gonna do 100%. It doesn't have to be 100%. Do whatever you want. And something else that I wanna do, I wanna scale the button. So let's do scale. And here you can see like I'm adding all these different options that we have. If you go to the documentations, you will see everything, okay? Um, they have a lot of things that you can do. This is just like the basics, but it works for a lot of websites that want to do some animations. 
And here we have more options inside scale. So I want to do a delay first. I want to delay the, the scale. Let's do 800. And then um, the value of that scale. So it's going to be like 1.5 or it can be like the double. You can put two if you want like the double um, size, but I'm just, I don't want to do so much. So let's do just 1.5. All right, let's go here, coma. What else I can do? I can, um, the duration. So how long is going to be? Let's do one and a half second, something like that. All right, I think we're good. So it's going to with 100% scale, and then it's going to be a second and a half. All right, and now that we have this um, animation, I need to add an event listener. That way, when I hover, this and this uh, um, function triggers, right? So let's go ahead down here after the whole function. Let's do button dot add event listener. And it's going to be on hover. So um, it's going to be mouse over. That's how it is. Coma and then the function, which is the mouse hover animation. So let's do, oops, no, here. There you go. All right. So now we have an event listener and it's going to trigger this function when you hover the button. So let's save that. Let's see if that works. So let's hover the button and there you go. So you can see that um, it happened, but now it stays there. So we need to do the same thing when we are not hovering the button, but it works. So I'm just going to reload this page. So you will see that the width is going to be 100% and then it's going to scale, but there's a delay. This will be a little bit of delay. So width and then scale. So that's why we have that delay there and I like it. So let's go ahead and create another function. So I'm just going to copy this one, paste it. And this one we can call it, um, I don't know, mouse out animation, call it whatever you want. And now what we're going to do is let's just change the width to half and the value of the scale is going to be one, which is like the original size duration. Let's leave it the same. So right now let's create another event listener. So I'm just going to copy and paste this one. This one's going to be mouse out. All right. So it's the opposite. And now we need to change the function. Um, where is it? Mouse. Mouse out animation. All right, so let's save that and see if it works. I don't know. Sometimes I code something. I don't know if it's going to work, but that's, that's how it is. That's web development. Um, all right, let's hover. All right, and let's go out. And there you go. So you can see you hover, it go with 100% and then scale. And then you go out, it's, it's doing the same thing. Um, is going 50% and then scaling back to one, which is the original size of the button in scale. So is that simple? Um, you can see how powerful this is. You have a lot of options. I know this is like a very simple animation, um, but I just want to show you, uh, you know, that you have options to do simple things like that. And now let's try to animate the SVG file, the SVG um, path. So right now you can see I have only the stroke of the SVG. So I want to animate that. So let's go ahead here and let's do anime. And then the options, let me scroll down. So target. Um, the logo has a class of YouTube. And then we're going to target the path of that um, SVG file. Okay, coma. Let's do, um, there's a specific options for SVG files and this is one of them. Um, stroke, dash, offset. All right, I think that's what it is. 
Um, don't worry if you do not understand or get confused by this. Go to the doc documentation. There's a link on the video if you want to learn about, about what is this, what exactly this stroke dash offset is doing. Um, I'm going to do animate.set dash offset. Oop, not stroke. Set dash. Jeez. All right, just like that. Coma zero. Easing is going to be um, is in out. Nope, is in out. All right, like that. Um, duration. I'm going to do the same one um, half a second. Um, direction we're going to do alternate, which it means when the animation finish is going to go back. So, um, direct direction, alternate. Nope. There you go. And then I'm going to do a loop, which is just a loop. It's going to animate forever. I'm going to do true. All right. So let's save that. And it's not working. Um, there are a couple of um, errors here. So first, um, let me scroll up. So it's not target, it's target with an S at the end. Um, looking here at the documentation, the easing actually is, is, um, is in, out, sin, something like that. So make sure you look at the documentation because um, you're going to do some errors if you start creating your own stuff or making up things like I'm doing right now. Um, the alternate is, it has a typo plus it's supposed to be a string. So let's change that to a string. If not, it's going to be looking for a variable or a function and it's not there. So it's going to give you an error. It's not going to work. And is alternate. All right. Now, hopefully this works. Let's save that. There you go. So now you can see is animating the stroke and then going back and forward and it's a loop. So it's going to go forever. Plus we have our animation of the button here. Um, you can see this uh, logo animations on a lot of website. When you hover, you know, the logo starts animating. You can do it with this little small code of a block of code. Very simple with animate library. Um, and of course, this is just a very simple tutorial just to get you started and you just go from there. There's a lot of options. So get creative. Okay. And that's it. Subscribe if you want to keep learning and click on the bell icon to receive notifications every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much for watching. Have a beautiful day. Bye bye.